Hi, welcome to my tech talk. This is Nyatu from CP7, and let's talk about crypto. Since then, we've seen the price of Bitcoin double. So as of right now, I've made an extra two hundred dollars El Salvador became the first country in the world on Tuesday to make Bitcoin legal tender. The whole thing is a joke. Even the Flintstones knew better than crypto. Oh, come on, you making any sense of this? Dogecoin is the people's crypto. Just became a Dogecoin millionaire. The big story this morning, Staples Center getting a name change. Yeah, it is soon going to be known as Crypto.com. A massive spike in cryptocurrency scams. Non-fungible tokens. They're taking over the art world. Your work sold for $69 million. So, oh, so it's a hustle. Last year, 2021, was the year crypto wants full-blown mainstream. I know you've been hearing Bitcoin this, Ethereum that, NFT and stuff. What are even those? Now to the latest trend that's sweeping the internet. So called NFT. They're now selling for huge bucks. $69 million. Oh so what's behind this latest craze? That is the question to ask. You can even watch a YouTube video without getting an ad for crypto. You can even scroll through TikTok without ever hearing about a random dude who just became a millionaire through some dog-related meme internet money. And something quite bizarre, I would say. Mayor of Miami, Florida tweeted saying that he won his next paycheck, 100% in Bitcoin. And wait, wait, Eric Adams. The mayor of the people. The mayor of New York City, he tweeted saying he wants his next three paychecks in Bitcoin. So, as a student who's interested in business studies and economics, this is just another topic that I wouldn't just let go of. Then what is crypto? Let's find out. Then what is crypto? It's a digital currency in which transactions are verified and records maintained by a decentralized system using cryptography rather than by a centralized authority. Then why are the major politicians publicly promoting it? What's the big deal about it? Everyone's asking, how does the blockchain work? How are the transactions? What's the technology being used? Instead, we should be asking, is this whole crypto thing a good thing? Yes, of course, it's a good thing. It's very beneficial. No, actually, it is bad for the world. So this is the ultimate tech talk crypto debate. You can start. Okay, joke aside. I am saying it's a bad thing. Why? Let's start out with the most obvious one. Yes, wasted energies. Okay, so look at this chart. It shows the amount of electricity it takes to run the Bitcoin network. Yes, only the Bitcoin network. And look at it. Now it shows us that it is roughly the same as the energy consumption of the Argentina the energy consumption of the whole country just to run this Bitcoin thing. How? Because these cryptocurrencies security depends on thousands and thousands of computers racing. Of course, more and more computers are jumping on board, which means more electricity. This is leading to disasters such as climate change, tons of energy, tons of waste. What's good about it? Yes, I agree with you, but here is my point. Why are you questioning the energy usage of crypto while everything uses energy? Okay, I agree that these computers use lots of electricity and not all the electricity come from fossil fuel burning. It comes from solar panels, wind turbines, and even this research shows us that 40% 
of their energy comes from renewables. Even look at this case. One oil production in Utah is now using natural gas to mine cryptocurrency instead of wasting it into the atmosphere. This is an advance in technology. This is beneficial. This is actually mind blowing and they're even using the electricity that would have been wasted. Okay, then another point I want to make is that these energies are being used to produce a product that is actually useless. It is worse than useless. It's having negative impact on the society. What do I mean by that? Well, every week in the news, you will read that new crypto companies getting hacked or scamming people and called or scam hacks. Investors crying scam over a cryptocurrency inspired by the hit Netflix show Squid Game. It is running without a centralized authority. What is the customer production? Oh, oh, it went to zero. This is wild. Then why are people buying these? Well, people will buy if there's enough hype buying it because it's supreme this is wrong this is so wrong this is just like gambling this is casino psychology if you win you are nice and loud and you can show it off to everyone and if you lose you quietly retreat into your shame this is ridiculous it is giving people the idea that people are getting really rich from these internet meme money and you are not these people are just investing money into fake internet monopoly money, not something that has a track record. This is just human psychology. Not even a scheme per se, it's... I have to go make a call. All right, in response, let me explain. Let's go back to the early state of Bitcoin. Someone named Satoshi Nakamoto proposed the idea of Bitcoin, which is a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system. It doesn't need governments or banks. This is using the same ethic that had built the internet, connecting strangers from around the world without the use of a middleman. This is useful. This is useful for lots of things. To offer some examples, Last year in Nigeria, the government froze the bank accounts of people who are protecting against police brutality. The accounts are being frozen, but they are still getting donations through Bitcoin. Or another example, something like hyperinflation. People's life savings are gone. Why? Just because of the trust in these big institutions. So. Crypto is not controlled by the government. It is actually controlled by the community. This is useful for lots and lots of things. Okay, then let me ask you a question. Then who is going to protect these people from the hackers and scammers and other predatorial behaviors without the government or the banks? Okay, okay. So that was a lot to take in and the conversation was getting a bit heated so let's take a break we will be right back say ooh say ooh okay so trust me it is more intense around the internet than this so what do you think do you think crypto is a good thing and it is changing the world or is it just another technology that will bust eventually? What is my answer? Neither of them. We are still learning and the world is just at the beginning. So it's been Miatu from CP7 and peace.